New brain and science research presented recently at Neuroscience 2010 confirms again the dangers and potential impact of drug use on brain chemistry well into adulthood. The National Institutes of Health also examined the effects of alcohol on the teenage brain. And one important difference that we found between these two groups of kids was that the kids with the heavy drinking patterns were not able to uh, uh, retain as much information as the kids who were non-drinkers. The subject on the left is a normal, uh, healthy 15-year-old boy, and the subject on the right is a 15-year-old boy who's actually a very heavy drinker. You can see that this is a really important area of the brain for remembering locations of things, and over here, nothing. According to the Society for Neuroscience, more than 4,300 U.S. teens try an illicit drug for the first time each day. And for too many teens, the drug of choice is prescription drugs or alcohol found right at home. This is the age of medication. I think there's tremendous amounts of all sorts of medicines out there that are readily available in, you know, in the bathrooms, in the cabinets at home. In fact, some teens like Joseph and TJ say the medicine cabinets are the first place kids look. That's the first place. That's most likely That's where it starts. starts. Researchers urge parents to understand the effects of drugs and alcohol on brain development during the teen years, to control accessibility, and to be on the lookout for any signs of trouble. Grades going down, skipping school, uh, not involved in activities that you used to be involved in, change in peer group, change in dress, more isolation. I'm Stacy DeWitt for Connect With Kids.